Good day, YouTube. I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to the first episode of Football Manager 22 Upside Down Divisions. This has been created using the pre-game editor. If you don't know how to get the pre-game editor for Game Pass, then check on the link above. What is this about? Upside Down Divisions or Leagues, whatever way you want to call it. Well, I want to make a bit of a fun video. And to do that, we are starting in for English Divisions. And what we are doing, as the name suggests, we're going to turn for English divisions upside down. The Prem teams will swap with League 2 teams and for Championship teams will swap with League 1 teams. We will review the game mid-season just to see how things are shaping out. And then a end of season view to see a new Premier League champion and see if the big clubs fight out for a promotion spot or maybe a playoff place. If you wish to watch more videos like this one and further content from Football Manager, Patrick and FIFA, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump okay, right in. Let's start a new game. We're going to go career and we are going to, here's the database. It's within Football Manager 2022 database. We've got upside down selected already. So let's confirm that. Start game. I'm going to just go unemployed and literally unemployed, go on holiday and let this whirl away up until let's go New Year's Day, see what's happened, review it. And then we'll go to end of May or 1st of June. We'll go 1st of June, end of season. How is it faring so far? Here we go. So League 2, we have Arsenal top of the league. Batman United follow second. They've got four games in hand. Oh, here we go. Let's bring it up a little bit bigger here. So Bournemouth for bottom. West Brom are looking at a moment to go down into the non-league. Conference League, whatever you want to call it. Arsenal, Man U, Liverpool. Man City, Villa, Chelsea, Wolves. Then just outside for playoffs is Palace, Tottenham, Everton. Fighting for relegation. Norwich and Fulham are down there as well. Brentford doing pretty good at 13th. So let's just have a quick look at Arsenal, see what's happened with them. I guess what we want to look at is transfer history. So they haven't sold, haven't sold anyone really. Have I brought in anyone after? No, no one after Martin Odegaard. Who's their best player at the moment? Uber. Call him Uber because I can't say his name. Played 22, scored eight. Is that their top goal scorer? Only eight goals. And then Eddie Nikita, Saka's playing well. Not too bad, I wouldn't expect them to play rubbish anyway. If we quickly look at schedule. So Carabao first cup, they have been knocked out by Watford already. Uh, FA Cup first round, so they're playing first round of FA Cup, second round, just how it is. Just lost to Newcastle, their last game, they lost to Newcastle 2-1. And they lost to Newcastle as well and back in October, 2-1. Quite funny. Yeah, not scoring that many goals, are they? Very tight. Very tight indeed. Loads of games left. Still to play Man United twice in January. They haven't really played any big boys. They Chelsea drew. Tottenham, they beat 3-1. Chelsea, they drew. I said that already. So they haven't played Man United. And they haven't played Man City. Where's Man City? Man City's here. Oh, look, you've got double Man City there. Two Man United, two Man City. They've still got Tottenham. Chelsea again. Let's check transfers for the league. So as as to be expected, not really anything big. Man City's brought a couple of small players. Shin Benteke is going to Lille. Probably know that their transfer budgets have probably all been depleted now because they haven't got the money. But again, I haven't changed that. I haven't changed that. Let's move on to League One and get overview. Won't bother with this. Let's just give it a quick overview. So who's bottom? Sunderland are bottom. Then Derby, Coventry, Huddersfield. So this is this is a mixture of Championship and League One teams. So four League One teams, which was the best reputable, which was Sunderland, Sheffield Wednesday, Jolton, and one other I can't remember. But Blackburn top by quite a distance as well. It's just funny, just think this is League One. It doesn't feel like League One. But let's, okay, let's move on. Patterson, guys, Patterson. Remember from my Sheffield Wednesday save, Patterson, there you go. Look, he's banging him in still, banging him in. You want a League One or a Championship strike off cheap, Patson. All right, let's move on to the Championship. How are we faring here? So let's start bottom to top. Morco and Bristol Rovers, Bristol, uh, Bradford City, Tranmere. 
Trauma is on good form though. Do they have a point deduction maybe? Does that all still count? Did Derby still have a point deduction? Does that does that just stay with the team or was that part of the league? Yeah, if we just go into stages, there's no stars. And to be fair, Derby are there 16. They've only won three times. Yeah, 16 points. Okay, so point deductions have gone. Uh, okay, yes. So for championship, go back here. So who's top? Oxford, United are top. Then Cheltenham, Burton, MK Dons, Portsmouth, Lincoln. All fighting f to get into that premiership. Oh, it'd be funny to see Portsmouth back up there. Matty Taylor, the uh, top goal scorer at best rating is Tendaya Durba. And it says Lewis Reed and a few others there. Um, okay, it's it's the big one, guys. It's the big one. Premier League, Mansfield are top of the Premiership. Premier Division, Premier League, what you want to call it. And Stevenage are not far off. Northampton, Warsaw, Forest Green. All right, let's go see how Mansfield done. Let's have a look. These could be our next Premier League champions. Have they been able to bring in anyone outside of their usual? No, they've just got no money that in out. I think it'd be next season. Be next season. All right, should we do another? What is it? Six months? First of June. Let's let's see who wins things. Let's yeah. Let's go on. This was our mid-season review. Let's go on to the next bit. This season has gone past on our upside down leagues in for English divisions. Let's go have a look, shall we? How has it all panned out? League two. Let's have a look. So Man City won for league by one point ahead of Liverpool. 103 points, 102 points. And then Arsenal 99, Man United 98. Chelsea and Tottenham. They stay in League 2 next season. West Brom and Bournemouth have gone down to non-league football. If we go into playoffs, so the semi-finals was Villa versus Man United. And then I had won that on aggregate 3-0. And then Tottenham Chelsea. Chelsea won that 3-1 on aggregate. And then the final played at Wembley. And then I had won it 2-0. Let's go into that game. Sancho and Pogba. Of goals. Rudiger got injured in the 29th minute. So what transfers happened in League 2? Raheem Sterling went to Real Madrid. Jesus went to Bayern Munich. In not much money. I think their value really drops down as well uh, because they're obviously down divisions. Ben Chilwell went to Man City. John Stones went to Real Madrid. Mares went to Barcelona. Barkley went to Tottenham. So for League Table for League 1. Blackburn are champions. They're going up to the championship with Birmingham and Barnsley. Sixth place Barnsley, where QPR, Luton, Bristol City lost out. We got relegated. So who's going down to League Two? That's Sunderland, Derby, Huddersfield, Cholton. Yes. Chef Wednesday stays in League One. Now, I don't know how long that's going to last because you've got some big boys going into this division next season. So we will see. Uh, not going to check transfers on that. We move on to the next league. The championship. MK dons the champions with Oxford and Burton follows them going to for Premiership next season. Finally some big teams in for Premier League. <laughs> um, Tranmere, Bristol Rovers and Bradford City get relegated. All right who won the Premier Division? Mansfield. A new winner of the Premier League. Well done, Mansfield. They won it by eight points. And we've also got Northampton, Forest Green and Walsall all entering into the Champions League with Steve Nidge going into the Euro Cup. FA Cup. FA Cup. So Arsenal beat Rotherham in the Cup Final. Wow. Let's get to the quarters. So Arsenal, Bournemouth 3-0. Rotherham 3-0 against Bristol City. Tottenham beat Villa after extra time. 2-1. That might have went to penalties. Uh, it should say penalties, right? And Man City beat Leicester. And then in the semis, Rotherham in penalties beat Man City after a one-all draw. And Arsenal beat Tottenham 3-2. And then in final, Arsenal nicked it 1-0 against Rotherham in final. Fair play, Rotherham. How did they do in the league? That was a great cup run. Ninth from the championship. Is it Carabao Cup in this? Carabao Cup, yes it is. So they have license and name. 
Uh, Man United beat Chelsea on penalty shootout. So you had Arsenal and Man United. They said they're still getting silverware. Still getting silverware. We will check out for Champions League and Euro, uh, Europa League. Euro League, whatever you want to call it nowadays. So a quick run through on this. Leicester beat Man knocked out Man City in penalties. West Ham beat Preston 2 0. Man United beat Ipswich. Chelsea beat Everton on penalties. And then semi finals Man United beat West Ham. And Chelsea on Agua beat Leicester. And then we go to the final and we know the result there. Yeah. European Champions Cup, it looks like Inter's won it. So Juventus versus Inter Milan. And we will again go from quarterfinals. So Chelsea's English teams, we had three teams still in it. Obviously, they're not going to be in uh, next year. We're going to have Mansfield and co. <laughs> um, it just plays in favour of those other teams, right? <laughs> Maybe this is going to be Paris Saint-Germain's chance and opportunity now. Who knows? So Chelsea got knocked out by Inter. I grew up 4-0. Liverpool, Juventus. Quite a close game, 3-1. Paris Saint-Germain, Red Bull, Leipzig knocked out Paris Saint-Germain on penalties. And Man City knocked out Barcelona, aggregate score 4-1. Semi-finals, Inter knocked out Red Bull, Leipzig in penalties. And Juventus knocked out Man City 3-1 on, on, on aggregate. And again, we know what happened in the final. Euro Cup, who won it? Napoli. Yeah, probably not. A surprise so again go through for run um so quarterfinals sporting knocked out lille napoli knocked out olympiacos real san sebastian knocked out valerel atlanta battered lazio um 4-1 in aggregate semi-finals atlanta knocked out sporting and napoli knocked out real san sebastian and napoli won it i will continue with this series we will each episode we will do a season we'll do again we do for mid-season and end of season and I will probably make probably go up to five seasons just to see so what we got we got league two league one championship premiership okay four or five seasons and we'll see what happens and see what big teams actually end up getting to a premiership at the moment it could possibly be Man City will be the first team in league two to go league two league one championship and win for Premiership in first season. Could Newcastle be a surprise? A bit of a late runner now that a season's passed? Who knows? If you don't want to miss any content from this series, then you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel.